All right, guys, with injuries, nothing for now. Everyone returned back to the game, so we'll see if we have more for you guys tomorrow. Go ahead. Uh, on that second interception, were Jennings and Ayuk supposed to be that close together? Yes. Yeah. What's the, what's the idea of that, having them only two or three yards apart on the, the hash? Like no, that? just when he threw it, the timing of it, but it's just a clear route and an in-breaking route called dagger. It's very normal. Did it? We ran three times in the game. Was that First interception, Kyle obviously was a big one down at the ten yard line. Just how was that play designed to go, and, and what happened wrong? Um, there's just, just supposed to be a handoff to him, and we missed the handoff, and he tried to scramble out of there. And by that time, you don't want to throw it down the field because people are run blocking. So we just missed the handoff and made a mistake after it. What do you see? You have the rock right now. Five picks the last three games. No picks the first five games. Like what's the, what's going on? I uh, made some bad picks there at the end. Uh, Thought he was one of the reasons we were in the game today. Some of those throws he made out there were unbelievable. Um, the mistake in the red zone, missing the handoff was the biggest part. And then once you do that, you got to—you you can't throw it or you're going to get the penalty. But on worse that he got the pick. Uh, he was aggressive, thought the mic was going to pass on that second pick, and the mic fell off right with Juwan. So um, just got to see it. think he was okay? He didn't have any effects from the concussion? No, he wouldn't have been allowed to play. Right. Yeah. Sharp as usual? Um, I mean, he had those turnovers, but I mean, the guy made some really good plays in the game. And um, when it came down to there at the end, and we're getting a little bit one dimensional, um, you know, especially that pick when we were backed up there inside the red zone, or the negative red zone was the worst one. Sorry, well, you and Steve this week, last week, talked about, you know, kind of marrying coverage to, to the rush. Did you think there were still some problems there in this? Did you? What did you see defensively? Um, I'll see more when I get to watch the whole thing in unison. But I thought, you know, the first drive I thought was kind of, you know, the most how the whole day went a little bit. You know, I thought our coverage was really good on that third and long on the first drive. It looked like we had about three different opportunities to sack them. Um, took a number of hitches. We had a bunch of guys there, which means the coverage and the rush was good. And then he got out of there and somehow moved the chains with his legs. So I thought our tackling was extremely sloppy today, especially in the first half. I thought we tackled better in the second half. Um, but yeah, there was too much space. What was your message to the team? I'll talk to him more tomorrow. Um, but my, my message was we, we got to take that. I mean, we didn't play well. Um, that team beat us straight up. Um, you know, we talked about tackling better, talked about doing having less penalties. And I think we only had five, but in comparison to them, I think it was one. Um, and we had some ones in some crucial situations that gave first downs. Um, but my bottom line of them was, you know, we got to get better in every aspect. You know, and the things that disappointed me today were some of the fundamentals of just um, throwing and catching, tackling, um, and some of those penalties that cost us. Uh, Brock had some, uh, some rushing yards from scrambles that he made plays on. But as far as your, your consistent running game, I know you like, you know, ideally you like to get 40 runs if you can. Some of that's game circumstance, but last few games it's been rough to get that going. What do you think is playing into that? Yeah, we haven't been able to create as much space in the run game. Um, I got away from it a little bit there in the second half. Um, and also you got to think, I think we ended up three of eight on third down, which you got to do better on third down to be able to get that going. I thought we had a couple chances for creases, and um, the guys didn't made it a t make a tackle and just missed those. We had a couple good runs, uh, especially the first one of the third quarter. Uh, we had a holding call, um, one on the first one of the game that got us into second and one, and then the next two runs don't move the chains for us to go three and out on the opening play of a eight and a half yard run. So, um, got to get some better looks, got to run better, block better, and um, just do better as a team. Have you made it to the, the second interception with that mic just being further? into coverage than you would be um, if the run game were firing? No, we were in empty. So, I mean, they know we're throwing when we're in empty. It was just quarters. And um, Mike's usually there in quarters. He thought he overran it, and he didn't. Have you touched on some of the issues over the last three weeks? Are there certain things, specific areas that are of major concern to you going into this body? Um, I mean, I think I've kind of said all of them. I mean, I, I, there's not one thing I'm going to pinpoint. I think we need to run the ball better. We need to score more points. Um, and we need to slow down, guys down better, whether it's with pass rush, whether it's doing better on first and second down. I want to say they had, I'm not going to say this exactly right, but when you get 20 first downs, you know, I, think, I think 17 of them are on first or second, something like that. So um, we got to get in some more longer third downs. And when we do, we got, we got to get them off the field with a sack if they hold on the ball that long and not let them break that pocket. Is any of this add urgency to the trade deadline? Is, is that something? 
No, none of this changes anything with the trade deadline, how we played today or how we played these last three weeks. Um, when you sit and you watch tape, when you're out there on the field, and I know how these last two weeks especially have felt, um, but I do believe we have the answers in our building. I believe we have good players. I believe we have good coaches. Uh, it's up to me to get them to do better. Uh, I thought we started out pretty good, but there's some things that we haven't been able to hide here these last few weeks, and that's why we got to um, continue to Got to continue to push them in every aspect because um, some people do go on these losing streaks and they don't have those answers. And you're just living in hope. Uh, I truly believe we do have the answers. I believe we got them on our team. I believe we got them with our staff. And uh, we got to sit here and wait about 14 days to deal with this feeling that we have, which nobody wants. Um, but I think we need to. I think our guys need to be pissed off a little bit. I think we need to come back with a little better focus um, because it, ha it hasn't been enough. And we haven't been getting it done. Your level of support or confidence in Steve Wilkes right now? Oh, it's this isn't on any one coach or any one side of the ball. Um, and we've only put we haven't scored over 20 points here in three weeks too. So I think our defense needs to do better. I think our offense needs to do better. I think our team needs to do better. Um, and when I say our team, I mean every single player in there, and I mean every single coach. Was today? Is that part of a kind of consensus, or was that Steve just saying it wasn't the right time to blitz today? Um, you know, it's going to be a little bit different each week. Um, I, I think it looks like we did less today, and um, if we're going to whether we blitz or whether we don't blitz, and what do we do throughout the game? We've got to be sound football. You got to make the plays. You got can't give that much space, and you got to get to that quarterback. When you don't get to that quarterback, you, know, you got to make tackles, and we didn't do any of that stuff today. So it's not just because of a call here and there or a style. It's, it was a little bit of everything. When you talk about how you need to have a little bit better focus, do you feel that? Especially after the first five weeks, there's been a bit of a lack. No, I don't mean that. I, I mean, um, I say focus because winning football games is about who does right longer for three and a half hours. And I think in our first five games, we didn't always do do right longer. We just made a bunch of plays and were able to get up on people and win by a couple scores. And I think when that happens, those little mistakes aren't as crucial. And it hasn't been the case these last three weeks. We haven't been able to overcome some little mistakes, whether it's a turnover, uh, whether it's a penalty, whether it's a drop, whether it's a missed tackle. And that's kind of what I mean. You can't just focus in a game for three and a half hours and pick that up. That's how you focus throughout the week, just to make everything every single play like it's the biggest play in the game. And we've gotten away with a number of stuff on our win streak, and we haven't in these last three weeks. And I still believe we've had every chance to win all three of these games. And that one got away from us the most. That's what's going to happen when we turn it over like they're at the end. And when we do answer and they go right down and score again, uh, that was our opportunity to get back in the game, and we missed that. So uh, it's, it's not one guy. Um, it's a whole team, but everyone has their um, part in it. Um, I mean, every week I know there's a chance for it to go either way. I mean, I'm pretty realistic about the NFL, um, but I do expect us to get better these each week. And I definitely expected us to be better versus Minnesota than we were versus Cleveland. And I thought we'd be better today um, than we were versus Minnesota. And that wasn't the case. And that's why I got to look into it and find out why. Scored 17 points in three straight games. How much can that be traced to Debo not being there and Trent being there? How much of an impact does that have on the offense? Um, I mean, good players allow you to overcome mistakes sometimes, and they can hide stuff, kind of like what I was saying earlier. Um, I don't think we didn't score enough points because we turned it over on first and goal on the seven. Um, I, th I believe that we didn't do good in running the ball when we had some chances in second and one and third and one where I thought we would have stayed on the field. I, I feel, I never feel, I always feel confident with our players that we're going to move the change and score and it's, do we not hurt ourselves? And that's not to take anything away from any other team. They, they make it difficult on you. Um, but I think we've hurt ourselves a lot in these um, last few weeks too. And then when you get in those situations and you are a little bit more one dimensional at the end and you're passing every time, yeah, you're going to notice not having Trent out there and stuff like that. But that's when we're already in that situation. I mean, we, we shouldn't have been there. And when that's the case, yeah, you can have some great guys bail you out of some stuff, whether, whether it's Debo taking a screen to the house or Trent being able to hold up in protection longer. But by no means are those reasons why we lost these games. It's just harder to overcome. All right, thanks.